Indeed. Okay, so I now have a, a little treat for our viewers. I'm going to bring in uh, Skylord Bobo, and he's going to tell us all about the fledglings and how the other brackets been going. It's going pretty good so far. Uh, we, we actually are looking for a score update from you, because I, I haven't managed to find out what's happened in the other brackets. How's that How's that been going for you? Uh, so, we just won against the Minute... Uh, Man... Minad? Is that how... Yeah, Minad, Minad Riders. Uh, 5-1, to one, I think. And, wow, very impressive. Uh, we won the first game against the... I think they're called the Grim Reapers, though. They had Try pilots. Pants. Yeah, those guys. Uh, 5 -0. So what you're saying is we have a pretty happy uh, Captain uh, Sky uh, Skylord Bobo in the uh, in here with us. Then. Yes, definitely. Five one against the Riders. Nice, nice work. Uh, that's that's fantastic. So we actually brought you in here uh, so we could have a chat about the fledglings because, um, as you yeah. probably are aware, I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, of trying to assist novices in getting into the game and. Uh, I was wondering if you'd tell us a little bit about uh, what it is you do with the fledglings, how novices can get involved, just just all of the gory details. Well, so I originally came up with the idea um, because I would go into... I, I would just, when I had spare time, I would go and just crew with random people, and I would meet all these cool novicer, novices that had a lot of potential, but, you know, would probably leave the game if they didn't really do anything. And I had no power in any clan or anything, so I couldn't really, you know, invite them to anything. I could just add them to my friends list and try to play with them every once in a while. And I also noticed that uh, in the Skyborn, because we were becoming a better and better clan, there was less room to invite, you know, novice players and worse players, just because we wanted to try to keep it, you know, like a smaller clan size so we didn't get this massive clan. So I decided it would be a good idea to make a sub-clan of the Skyborn, where we could take in new players and kind of have them as part of the clan without having a massive, you know, ever-growing clan. So we could see who, you know, the ones that but, stuck around and that... But the Grox were doing sense. so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We didn't want to create the Grox point two, uh, 2.0. So we were just... Sorry, Grox 3.0. <laughs> yes, Grox 3.0 at this point. <laughs> and so... Uh, I made the fledglings, and I started going around and collecting people. And we had we have uh, practices every once in a while. We haven't had any recently, but generally, just the idea is that the only requirements are that you will listen, and that you are a nice person, and uh, we just try to teach you and uh, help you enjoy the game. And the uh, original purpose is technically to find new players for the Skyborn, but honestly, the purpose that I intended for it was to help the game overall, because uh, if you take in a new player and teach them how to play and are kind to them and stuff, then it raises the chances that they will stay and keep playing the game, opposed to just moving on to something more convenient or easier to play or whatever. Like yeah. Counter Striker, who knows what. We don't want to lose more so, players to Rocket League, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's partially an effort of trying to find new Skyborn recruits, but it's also an effort to try to help the game become more alive. Oh, awesome. So uh, just looking at the uh, the website here that you folks have, have posted, incidentally, if you want to find out more about the Skyborn and the fledglings, you can head to uh, skyborn.net. Uh, link is in the doobly-doo. Um, you've got here a, a sort of guideline for the number of games, 500. Uh, is, is that sort of a hard and fast rule, or I, uh, is it... My understanding is the fledglings are a lot more flexible than that. It's more about... Yeah, it is a lot more flexible than that. That number is there just mainly because of... Um... To make it so if a new player does join, they have some sense of around how experienced we're looking for, for like the Skyborn. But honestly, if you're a fledgling, all that it takes to go from a fledgling to a Skyborn is just a demonstration that you know how to play like the game overall. And so, for instance, what we're mainly looking for is that if you're on any of the meta ships, uh, if we give you your position name or something like that, you will know what you're supposed to do. Okay, so and that's um, it's just very broadly, and the other big thing is just looking for consistency. 
Awesome. So uh, well, one other thing I wanted to ask, just so that any uh, novices listening uh, have a chance to get in contact uh, to, with you folks, who in the uh, the Skyborn should they talk to? I mean, obviously you, but are there uh, are there other uh, Skyborn players that, that would be good to get in contact with if there is a budding novice thinking of joining the uh, the fledglings? Uh, so Solidus Bucket is also um, a fledgling. Uh, like with me, he's also a fledgling officer. Uh, the other way to get into contact is just talk to any Skyborn, and they'll tell you to come to me, probably. Hopefully. Uh, and also, you can go to the clan page, my clan, the Fledglings, and uh, send an application, which, if I see an application, I'll accept it, because we're not particularly picky. Uh, and so, yeah. If you're interested in joining, please just go to the clan page and send an application in, or just message me in person. You can... Yeah. Fantastic. Well, uh, I think we're about to have a uh, another game start here. I see we've probably got another minute or so. And you, you may have heard, uh, Bobo, that we've been trying to announce the uh, the loadouts in game with uh, no success at all, as uh, pilots have been reading up left, right, and centre, which has been kind of amusing for us. But thank you very much for coming and talking to us. We really appreciate you uh, you coming here and and. Uh, and telling us all about uh, uh, the ways in which you're helping out the novice. And uh, I know I, I speak for a lot of the community when I say I very much appreciate you, uh, your, your efforts there. So thanks, and thanks for coming here. Thanks for having me. Fantastic.